Hello students, let us solve some of the problems of DTFT. Find the DTFT of the following sequences. The first sequence is a four valued fun, uh, sequence. It's a very basic problem that can happen, uh, that can come. It's a very simple solution. It has a very simple solution. X of omega according to the equation is given by summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e raised to power minus j omega n and since it's directly given the values here so i will write x of since there is no arrow given here we will assume that the arrow is in the first element that is what we do generally <coughs> isn't it we consider that the first element is 0 if there is no arrow given. So, based on that, I will write x of 0 e raised to power minus 0 uh, plus x of 1 e raised to power minus j omega plus x of 2 e raised to power minus j omega 2 and we are having up till 3 values so up till n is equal to 3 so x3 e raised to power minus j omega 3 we just substitute the values that's all x of 0 is equal to 1 so 1 into e raised to power 0 is 1 so 1 plus this is minus 2 so i will write this as minus 2 e raised to power minus j omega plus 2 e raised to power minus j omega 2 plus 3 plus 3 e raised to power minus j omega 3 the next problem is x of n is equal to 1 by 4 raised to power n u of n plus 1 okay so u of n plus 1 starts from where u of n plus 1 starts from you are you having u of 0 and when is u of 0 going to occur when n plus 1 is going to be equal to 0 or n is equal to minus 1 so u of n plus 1 basically starts from n minus 1 so it basically starts from n minus 1 n is equal to minus 1 so based on this how can we write the equation so we already know that the equation from the equation of Fourier transform DTFT we have the values which is summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 by 4 raised to power n u of n plus 1 e raised to power minus j omega n but u of n plus 1 it starts from where from n is equal to minus 1 isn't it how did i find out we know that u that is the unit step function starts from n is equal to 0 so when does n is equal to here in this particular case when does this become 0 when n plus 1 is equal to 0 or when n is equal to minus 1 so based on that we will write rewrite this equation as it is starting from n is equal to minus 1 up to infinity 1 by 4 raised to power n u of not u of because that is 1 into e raised to power minus j omega n now this we can write it as summation n is equal to minus 1 to infinity i will take n commonly so i will get 1 by 4 into e raised to power minus j omega the whole raised to power n so this is having a formation like you know n is equal to minus 1 to infinity of alpha raised to power n that is what we are having here now now let us look at the equation of summation that we have already studied now this is starting from 0 to n minus 1 this is starting from 0 to infinity this one is starting from k to infinity so k can be taken as minus 1 and we can you know, uh, try to solve that and try to get the answer that is one of the methods okay that is one of the methods so i will use this particular equation the third equation for getting the answer so we write we know that the summation of 
alpha raised to power n for n is equal to k to infinity is given by this equation where the value of alpha has to be the magnitude of value of alpha has to be less than 1 here you can see that the magnitude is 1 by 4 which is of course less than 1 so based on that we can write the value of x of omega as x of omega is equal to 1 by 4 e raised to power minus j omega the whole raised to power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 e raised to power minus j omega from which if I take this minus 1 that means 1 by 4 will become 4 and e raised to power minus j omega will become e raised to power j omega and the denominator will remain as such which is 1 minus 1 by 4 e raised to power minus j omega hence we have solved this let us make a next problem the third problem x of n is equal to n for all values of n between minus 4 and plus 4 so you know if I am trying to draw this you can just imagine it if I am trying to draw this I will have values between minus 4 and plus 4 okay so before that I am having minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 okay now if I have to draw the value it should be n n means whatever is the value of n that is itself the value so based on that if I am trying to draw here 0 it will be 0 1 it will be 1 2 it will be 2 3 it will be 3 4 it will be 4 after that everything is 0 because that is what is written here and before that at minus 1 it is going to be minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so it's actually a, a kind of a linear a linear kind of a this thing but obviously it is truncated after you know minus 4 and plus 4 so let us try to find out the dtft of this using the equation we know the equation of x of omega is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity of x of n e raised to power minus j omega n now let me spread it out so I know that it is going to exist only from minus 4 to plus 4 so I can write n is equal to minus 4 to plus 4 and the value of x of n is at that time n e raised to power minus j omega n so based on that I can write x of omega is equal to let me start from minus 4 so this is going to be minus 4 e raised to power j omega 4 let me write it properly j omega 4 minus 3 e raised to power j omega 3 minus 2 e raised to power j omega 2 minus 1 e raised to power j omega and at 0 it is going to be plus 0 plus e raised to power j omega plus 2 e raised to power j minus sorry this is minus eh? minus j omega 2 plus 3 e raised to power minus j omega 3 and finally 4 e raised to power minus j omega 4 okay now if this is the situation if this is the equation what I want you to look here carefully is these two can join together similarly these two can join together similarly these two and these two can also join together when I say they can join together let us see what I am trying to say here see here it can be written as e raised to power minus j omega minus e raised to power j omega which I can basically write it as minus of I can take minus outside so that I will get minus e raised to power minus j omega plus e raised to power j omega which I can write it as minus of I will take this one first so e raised to power j omega minus e raised to power minus j omega 
now we already know that if we divide this with 2j and multiply with 2j then this much function this much can be considered as sine omega based on the Euler's relation correct so using the Euler's relation these two can be made into a sine these two can be made into a sine these two can be made into a sine similarly the last one so let us do that so wherever we are using certain relations we have to write that so we use Euler's relation and what is the Euler's relation e raised to power j omega minus e raised to power minus j not omega I will write theta because it's a common equation so e raised to power minus j theta divided by 2j is sine theta so using that I will join the first two so therefore x of omega is equal to I will join the first two and I will write minus 2j okay let me write it as a single step otherwise you will get confused so minus 2j e raised to power j omega minus e raised to power minus j omega divided by 2j that is one of the equations then for omega 2 we will write minus 2j within bracket e raised to power j omega 2 minus e raised to power minus j omega 2 divided by 2j that is the next one minus the third one is again minus 2j e raised to power j omega 3 minus e raised to power minus j omega 3 divided by 2j similarly last portion minus 2j e raised to power minus not minus plus j omega 4 plus j omega 4 minus e raised to power minus j omega 4 within the bracket divided by 2j so this can now be written as you can see minus 2j is common for all so I can write therefore x of omega is equal to minus 2j I am going to take common and the remaining this will become sine omega plus sine 2 omega plus sine 3 omega plus sine 4 omega next is this function xn is equal to having one value between 0 and 3 if I am trying to just draw this you can see that the diagram will come just like a rectangular pulse it will start from 0 1 2 3 so from 0 to 3 it is having a value of 1 other than that it's all zeros correct so this is just like a rectangular pulse and we have already seen the rectangular pulse the only thing is that we had seen it central we had seen it uh, that means the center of the pulse was at 0 but here this is off center that is the only thing but <clears throat> based on that how will we solve this again using the method of DTFT we will basically write summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e raised to power minus j omega n since n is going to exist from 0 to 3 so n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n at that point is 1 so I will not write this here I will write e raised to power minus j omega n ok e raised to power minus j omega n and again we will use the summation formula if you remember the summation formula from 0 to some n minus 1 value if alpha is less than 1 not equal to 1 then basically we can write this equation otherwise we will have to basically write this equation so so since it is not equal to 1 i am not talking of the magnitude 
I am talking of the value of alpha itself that should if it is not equal to 1 then I will basically use this formula so based on this formula I can basically write here alpha so I will write using using the fact that summation n is equal to 0 to some capital N minus 1 value alpha raised to n will have a value of 1 minus alpha raised to power n divided by 1 minus alpha for alpha not equal to 1 so here this much portion e raised to power minus j omega that is going to be the alpha so based on that therefore i can write x of omega is equal to 1 minus e raised to power minus sorry this was not small n this is capital n so here n minus 1 is equal to 3 capital n minus 1 is equal to 3 therefore what will be the value of n n will be 4 so based on that i will write e raised to power minus j omega capital n which is 4 divided by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega correct now if you remember I had already in a previous class explained how to convert a 1 minus e raised to power minus j theta into an equation which is of sign and the equation that I am talking to you about is basically this one remember this we had done previously that means 1 minus e raised to power minus j theta can be written as e raised to power minus j theta by 2 into 2j sine theta by 2 so theta becomes theta by 2 if it is plus then it's a cos 2 times cos so this is the equation the first equation that we are going to use so based on that i will write remember e raised to power minus 1 minus e raised to power minus j theta can be written in this form so using this we will reduce this and this equation in the numerator as well as in the denominator as therefore x of omega is equal to now in the numerator i will write e raised to power minus j here theta is omega 4 so theta by 2 that is omega 4 by 2 is going to be omega 2 or 2 omega whatever you can write 2 omega also there is no issue 2 2 omega into 2j sine of again theta by 2 which is omega 4 by 2 which is 2 omega divided by the denominator it is going to be e raised to power minus j theta is now omega so omega by 2 into 2j into sine omega by 2 now you can see that 2j and 2j will basically cancel off and what we have is this sine 2 omega divided by sine omega by 2 okay this multiplied now with e raised to power minus j I will now write within bracket 2 omega and when I bring from denominator to numerator this minus j omega by 2 becomes plus j omega by 2 so there it is going to be minus omega by 2 and what is 2 omega minus omega by 2 2 2 omega minus omega by 2 is going to be 4 omega minus omega divided by 2 which is 3 omega by 2 so i will write finally therefore therefore x of omega is going to be sine 2 omega divided by sine omega by 2 into e raised to power minus j 3 omega by 2 next is uh, x of n is equal to a magnitude m basically uh, what it means is that uh, whatever be the value of n even if it is negative or positive it will have in the negative axis as well as in the positive axis the same values that means it will be a mirror image 
okay if a is suppose some particular value greater than 1 then what we will see is that as n value goes up the values will keep on going up whereas if no whereas if we are going to talk about value of a being less than 1 then the values will basically go down in both the sides okay so this is what is going to be the structure of x of n now let us try to put it in the formula and try to find out the answer so we know that the problem the solution of dtft of x of n is x of omega which is given by the equation summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e raised to power minus j omega n now here i am going to put summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n i am going to put as a magnitude n e raised to power minus j omega n this now i am going to split into two parts one is a right handed sequence and another is a left handed sequence so the left handed sequence will be from n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 so here if i am going to put n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 then its values will all be according to this equation it should be a raised to power magnitude of n will be anyway positive values so since it is going to be positive values here i will write a raised to power minus n because the n values are negative here when it comes its value will automatically become positive e raised to power minus j omega n and the second half is basically summation n is equal to 0 to infinity and for 0 to infinity e ra a raised to power n will anyway be positive value so i can just straight away write it as a raised to power n itself so here instead of a raised to power magnitude n i will write a raised to power n e raised to power minus j omega n see when i did this splitting up you can see that the magnitude n is now not there in the particular equation now we can actually find out using the formula summation formulas that we have done so to write it in a single equation form i will use summation n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 and this will be a e raised to power minus j omega of minus n isn't it so this e raised to power j omega so e raised to power j omega of minus n plus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity a e raised to power minus j omega the whole raised to power n okay the whole raised to power n in which this negative summation this negative summation we can make it positive by taking n is equal to minus values so based on that it's a reduction technique that is used so i will make it from infinity to one or i can write it from one to infinity is one and the same thing okay so one to infinity and then it is a e raised to power j omega the whole raised to power n and this one there is no problem it is going to be straight away n is equal to zero to infinity a e raised to power minus j omega the whole raised to power n okay so now i will say using the summation formula using the summation formulas using the summation formula what do i find out i can basically write this as uh, you know n this is from uh, similar to n is equal to k to infinity okay n is equal to k to infinity which you can remember from this equation is alpha raised to power k divided by 1 minus alpha whereas here from 0 to infinity it is just 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so i am going to use this so it is going to be summation so this one is going to be alpha raised to power k which is a e raised to power j omega raised to power 1 divided by 1 minus alpha which is 1 minus a e raised to power j omega 
whereas the second one is plus 1 divided by 1 minus a e raised to power minus j omega. From here if we want to do the cross multiplication and do you know and uh, further try to solve it there is no issue you can do that you can do the cross multiplication and try to solve this further I will leave it here because as such there is no special relation that we are going to get here next sign n pi by 2 u of n what we can do is we can write using Euler's relation we can basically write that sine n pi by 2 which can be written as sine theta is basically 1 by 2 j into e raised to power j n pi by 2 minus e raised to power minus j n pi by 2 okay so if I write that then I can write that x of n therefore x of n can now be written as 1 by 2 j multiplied with e raised to power j n pi by 2 minus so not minus into u of n and minus e raised to power minus j n pi by 2 into u of n so now we are having two functions okay we are having two functions now i will say we know we know that u of n the dft the dtft sorry the dtft is 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega this is something that we already know okay now using and using the frequency shifting property the frequency shifting property where what is the university uh, university shifting property university shifting property is if you are having x of n and uh, you multiply x of n with some e raised to power j omega naught n then it is as good as taking the Fourier transform of x of n which is x of omega and multiplying and wherever there is omega replace it with omega minus omega naught okay that is what is the shift you say what do you say frequency shifting property so based on that therefore I can write e raised to power j n pi by 2 so here omega naught is pi by 2 u of n can be written as uh, u of n we already know is 1 by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega now instead of omega I will write omega minus omega naught here omega naught is pi by 2 and similarly for the second one that is for this case I can write and and for e raised to power minus j n pi by 2 u of n the discrete time for your transform will be 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega plus pi by 2 therefore I can write that the total x of omega will be a combination of this so already there is a 1 by 2 j that is there in the front so that I will have to write as such so that so 1 by 2 j multiplied with now each of this so I have to use a little bit more space so so I will write 1 by 2 j within bracket 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega minus pi by 2 plus is it plus or is it minus minus 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega plus pi by 2 okay now I can do the cross multiplication or 
for this particular problem I will use another technique so x of omega is equal to 1 by 2 j 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega and what I had previously was minus pi by 2 that minus pi by 2 I will take outside which will come as e raised to power plus pi by 2 j pi by 2 sorry e raised to power j pi by 2 okay then minus 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega into e raised to power minus j pi by 2 okay that is how we have split up why did i split it up because based on this particular problem i can write e raised to power so we know we know that e raised to power j pi by 2 which actually can be written as 1 angle pi by 2 which is equal to 1 angle 90 so if you try to do 1 angle 90 you will get the answer as j similarly e raised to power minus j pi by 2 is same as 1 angle minus pi by 2 which is same as 1 angle minus 90 degree which is minus j so if I substitute that into this particular equation I will get x of omega is equal to 1 by 2 j and now I am going to substitute this here so it is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus j e raised to power minus j omega and the other part it will be 1 divided by 1 plus j because minus j into minus 1 is equal minus 1 is equal to plus j so plus j e raised to power minus j omega and now I can do the cross multiplication it has become very easy so uh, 1 by 2 j now the cross multiplication will be 1 plus j e raised to power minus j omega minus of 1 plus j e raised to power minus j omega okay and the denominator we will have 1 square which is 1 minus j square which is minus 1 so this becomes plus e raised to power minus j omega square which becomes 2 omega okay and here in the numerator this and this will basically cancel off so we will have this is equal to 1 by 2 j and then 2 times j e raised to power minus j omega divided by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega 2 where 2j and 2j will basically cancel off and I will get e raised to power minus j omega divided by 1 minus e raised to power minus j omega 2 or 2 omega so as you can see the cross multiplication as you do more and more problems you will know how to reduce the equations to something that is more pleasable to the eyes so the next problem is x of n is equal to 1 by 2 the whole raised to power n minus 2 u of n minus 2 so here what we will use is the time shifting property okay so i will write i will start with we know we know that 1 by 2 raised to power i will not write 1 by 2 let me write it as a raised to power n u of n we know what is going to be the dtft of this we have seen that this is 1 divided by 1 minus a e raised to power minus j omega we have already seen this so therefore 1 by 2 the whole raised to power n u of n the dtft will be 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega okay we can even take this 1 by 2 i can multiply it and all but i will not do it here next i use the time shifting property using time shifting property what is the property says the property says that if you are having a function x of n whose x of omega you already know then 
by shifting it with some time period n naught okay all that is going to happen is x of omega in x of omega you have to multiply e raised to power minus j omega n naught with the original x of omega so x of omega for this particular case we have got therefore therefore we get 1 by 2 the whole raised to power n minus 2 u of n minus 2 so what we have done here is we have basically shifted the value of n with n minus 2 okay and so that will give us just multiplying with e raised to power minus j omega 2 okay so if it is minus it is minus here also so e raised to power minus j omega 2 into 1 divided by let me write it neatly into 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 the whole raised to power e sorry e raised to power minus j omega or i can write it combinedly as e raised to power minus j omega 2 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega hence we have solved it x of n is equal to n 1 by 2 raised to power n u of n we already know so i will write straight away from what we already know so we know that a raised to power n u of n the fourier discrete time fourier transform is 1 divided by 1 minus a e raised to power minus j omega therefore we can already say that 1 by 2 raised to power n u of n is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega next when we multiply it with a function with a, a factor of n we have already studied in the property the differentiation and frequency domain property so we will use that to find out the value so what is the property first we will write the property so using the differentiation and frequency domain property which basically says that if you are having any x of n whose x of omega you already know then you can find out the dtft of n multiplied with x of n by just differentiating x of omega with respect to omega and then multiplying it with j so we'll use this so therefore n into 1 by 2 raised to power n u of n whose formula you already know so i will write the fourier of the fourier transform of this will be equal to j times differentiating with respect to omega 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega it will be equal to j now we are having in the numerator differentiation of 1 with respect to omega is 0 minus then the differentiation of the denominator the initial one is 0 so that will be gone minus of 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega if i am going to differentiate with respect to omega e raised to power minus j omega into minus omega okay correct divided by the square of the whole denominator am i correct so 1 minus half e raised to power minus j omega the whole square here instead of minus omega it is differentiation with respect to my omega so it should be minus j sorry so this with this the minus this and this minus minus of half and minus of j will both combine to become plus values and that into this minus will again become minus so i will get basically minus so the j is outside so that j i have to write so first i will write that j so j 
into the numerator I will get minus j by 2 e raised to power minus j omega divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega the whole square. Therefore, x of omega will be equal to j and j, j square is minus 1 minus into minus is plus so 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega the whole square okay next one x of n is equal to n 3 raised to power n u of minus n we know that so let me write it we know that a raised to power n u of n is going to be the dft dtft of that is going to be 1 minus a e raised to power minus j omega this much we know okay therefore 3 raised to power n u of minus n dtft would be 1 divided by 1 minus 3 e raised to power minus j omega okay this is something that we have already seen minus j omega now using the property using which property using the time reversal property so using time reversal property what is the time reversal property says the time reversal property basically says that if you are having a function x of n whose Fourier transform you already know as x of omega then instead of putting uh, n if it is minus n then it will be minus of omega okay so based on that I can therefore write sorry this here it should not have been plus uh, minus it should have been plus okay sorry so therefore I can write 3 raised to power minus n u of minus n the dtft is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus 3 e raised to power j minus omega minus and minus will become plus so plus omega okay now i have to do the differentiation of this one why because next we are going to use the time uh, using the differentiation in frequency domain property which basically says that if you multiply n with any of the function if you multiply n with any of the function then you have to differentiate its uh, Fourier transform with respect to omega and multiply with j therefore therefore I will write the Fourier transform of n into 3 raised to power minus n u of minus n will be j multiplied with the differentiation with respect to omega of 1 divided by 1 minus 3 e raised to power j omega which we have already as we have seen previously j is as such there and then 0 for the numerator minus for the denominator we are having 0 minus 3 e raised to power j omega into j okay okay and then divided by 1 minus 3 e raised to power j omega so therefore x of omega will now be now if i am trying to bring this all together so minus of minus is plus so j into 3j e raised to power j omega divided by 1 minus 3 e raised to power j omega let me write it more clearly e raised to power j omega which is basically minus 3 e raised to power j omega divided by 1 minus 3 e raised to power j omega 
I forgot to put a square here so that I have to take care this is also square this is also square with this we finish this thank you